Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Techniques course. In this video, we will start discussing a new topic which is Ensemble Learning. In this module, we will cover introduction to ensemble methods. There are three ensemble methods that we will study. First one is majority voting, bagging and boosting. Within bagging, we will study random forest and in boosting, we will study three different algorithms, gradient boosting, Ada boost and XG boost. Ensemble learning is a machine learning approach in which we combine predictions from different models to get a better performance. In broad terms, using ensemble methods is all about combining models to an ensemble such that the ensemble has a better performance than an individual model on average. There are two main categories of ensemble learning, voting and boosting. In voting, we use high variance models and combine them through voting scheme to prevent outlier predictions and overfitting. Whereas in boosting, we start by building weak learners and then combine them to, to make a strong learner out of these weak learners. Let's study majority vote. This is how majority vote works. So we have training data and then we train n different classifiers. Whenever we get a new data, we make predictions with all n different classifiers. So we basically get n predictions. Each prediction can be considered as a vote of a classifier for a specific label. And in voting, we basically take a majority vote to assign the label to the new example. Similarly, in case of regression, we take the training data for regression and we train n different regressors. And whenever we get a new data, we get prediction for regression output from n regressors. We average prediction across these n regressors to obtain the final prediction from the ensemble. Let's study why majority voting can be useful. Let there be Q classifiers with error rates epsilon i. Assuming that the error rate is better than random guessing, that means for binary classifier, we assume that the error rate is lower than 0.5. So each epsilon is less than 0.5. The ensemble makes a wrong prediction if more than 50% of Q classifiers make a wrong prediction. And the probability of a wrong prediction via ensemble if our classifiers predict the same class label is calculated via binomial distribution which is given by Q choose R epsilon raised to R into 1 minus epsilon raised to Q minus R. So let's take an example where we are using 11 classifiers or 11 estimators. So Q is equal to 11 with error rate 0.3. The error of the ensemble then can be calculated as 11 choose 6, 0.3 which is the value of ensemble rest to 6 into 1 minus 0.3 rest to 5. This comes out to be 6.696 into 10 rest to minus 6 which is a smaller value. There are two types of voting, hard voting and soft voting. In case of hard voting, we get class label prediction from each classifier. Let us consider this prediction as a vote of the classifier. The class label that receives the highest number of votes is chosen as a final prediction. Whereas in soft voting, we take average of probability vectors produced by different classifiers. The class with the highest probability is assigned to the example. In case of regression, we take average of output predicted by different regression models and the ensemble. Let's study the second technique which is bagging. So bagging is like voting with same classifier trained on different datasets. In voting, there is no restriction on what kind of classifiers we can train as part of ensemble. Bagging makes it a bit restrictive by 
enforcing the condition that we should be training the same classifier but on the different data sets. Let's see where bagging is useful. So bagging stands for bootstrap aggregation and the major idea of bagging is to combine prediction functions learned from multiple data sets with a view to improve overall prediction accuracy. Bagging is especially beneficial when dealing with predictors that tend to overfit the data such as in decision trees where the unpruned tree structure is very sensitive to small changes in the training data. In some sense, bagging is useful when we have estimators with high variance. The key idea here is that in each bootstrap some original data points are removed and replaced by existing data points and updated data set is rearranged. So concretely let's say there is an original data set with 10 different points. In the first bootstrap we select 10 points with replacement from the original data set and the points that are not selected in the bootstrap are set aside in the test set. And in the second bootstrap we again randomly select 10 data points with replacement and we get the second training set and whatever is not there in the bootstrap is used as a test set. In the similar manner we construct the third bootstrap and we can create Q such bootstraps and where Q is the number of classifiers or number of estimators that we want to train. Let's study general bagging algorithm. Let n be the number of bootstrap samples. So for i equal to 1 to q, q is the number of estimators. We first draw bootstrap sample of size n and call it as di. Then we train a base classifier hi on di. So after performing this particular step, we basically have q different classifiers. And for a new data point x, we obtain the prediction by taking the average of predictions from these Q classifiers. So this is a generic formula that we have written over here. Let's study a bagging technique which is quite famous which is random forest. So we can use random forest for both regression as well as classification. Random forest is one of the most widely used machine learning algorithm due to its ease of use and less much less tuning that is required to get good results. The random forest algorithms can be thought of as a bagging with decision trees. Let's look at random forest algorithm. We first sample the Q data sets D1, D2 all the way to DQ from D with replacement. For each data set DI we train a full decision tree with a small minor modification. So while deciding the features for split, we sample u of m features without replacement randomly and only consider those u features for split. And we get the final classifier which is the average of the predictions that we get from q different trees. There are two hyperparameters, number of classifiers q and number of features u. Random forest is insensitive to its hyperparameters. We can set the number of classifiers Q as large as we can afford. The main cost is really in training these Q classifiers. Set the number of features U to either square root of M or log of M plus 1 where M is the total number of features. In this video, we studied voting and bagging as to ensemble approaches. We also studied random forest which is a bagging technique.